Uh, Hannah Gatsby, thank you for, for zooming in to, to our show right now. I really appreciate it. Uh, last time I talked to you, I wish I could talk to you more, but you're rarely over in, uh, in the States, really. Uh, were you were in New York for a little while, you came to visit us, and it was great. We had a great time. Yeah, we, had a, we, we hugged. <laughs> those were the days. I do remember that. Wow, those were the days. Uh, when, when we were talking last time, we were talking about your special Nanette, and uh, I was like, it was so different, and I loved it. And man, oh man, you went on to win every award, and the, you got the Emmy was a big deal. Well, the Emmy was particular because I, um, you know, I'd assumed I wasn't going to win. It was Why? an easy, it was an easy lead up for me because Beyonce. Yeah. You know, I'm not Taylor Swift. I'm just, you know, so I was like, it's Beyonce. And, and that was an incredible piece of work she made. And I was comfortable with not winning. And we worked out timing wise that the announcement of me losing the Emmy was going to happen in the middle of my last show. So I decided, that's my dog, can you hear me? Come on, mate. Um, so I decided that would be a sad way to end a run, right? You finish in New York, you come off stage and someone meets you in the wings and says, yeah, you were right, you didn't win an Emmy. So I decided to tell the audience, hey, while I'm on stage, the world's going to find out that I didn't win an Emmy. Um, so I got my producer to make a slide that would come up behind me and say, and I didn't win an Emmy. And I told the audience that's what was going to happen. I said, we can all commiserate together. <laughs> that's perfect. And that's funny. Yeah, it, I won. So they made another slide and said, Hannah won an Emmy. And I didn't know this. So I was <laughs> just in the middle of, you know, doing the jokes. And then people just started clapping and cheering. It had been silence before that. And <laughs> crickets. <laughs> and, and I got this sort of standing ovation in the middle of the show. So it was a very graceless but wonderful moment. Ah, oh, that is odd. Oh, that's the best way to win an Emmy. That's fantastic. But here's the, the thing that I heard about this, uh, this, this show uh, that I think is very fun, I think, and uh, innovative, is uh, the beginning of the show. You tell everyone exactly what's going to happen in your show. Yeah. Well, I think my last show was kind of the reverse of that, and it was too shocking for some. Um, <laughs> so I pretty much, yeah, I do a blow-by-blow -blow description of exactly what happens in the show. And that, that came about during the live run because people would review the show and just do that. You know, oh, reviewers yeah. would go, here's everything she says, but I'll paraphrase it so it doesn't sound quite so good. Um, you know, and basically they're paraphrasing my one job, you know, yeah. which is saying, say surprising things. They're just, they're walking all over my one job. So I decided to walk all over their one job, <laughs> which is the small people what to expect. I mean, are you getting recognized now? Do you get like, do people go, oh, Hannah Gatsby, you're from the net and more than before? Yeah, well, my gynecologist called me Nanette, which was an incredibly awkward moment for both of us. Um, Did you respond? Yes, but it was, you know, like she was yeah. more embarrassed than I was and I didn't have any pants on, so that was the moment. Well, um, she could have called you Douglas. That's the hope for next season. That's what I call my... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but also, you know what the really interesting thing for me is that, not that a lot of people know who I am, it's that celebrities know who I am. Oh, yeah. So it's, well, I mean, it, it, happen, it happens a little bit, you know. Um, but my favourite one of recent history was in New York. I went to the tennis. Uh, I, was, I was sat in Billie Jean King's box. It was, wow. I was invited, fully consensual. <laughs> and um, so anyway, uh, so you know in the tennis between ends, they put, they, they, they uh, train the camera on famous people, right? And they go, oh my gosh, look who's in the crowd. Neil Sedaka was in the day I was there. And so they played uh, Calendar Girl. Calendar Girl, the, classic. The a, classic. 
and then Anna Kendrick, right? And so it's like, oh, Anna Kendrick's in. And I didn't know <laughs> who Anna Kendrick was. And so I did a quick Google, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yes, I think I do know who she is. Uh, but then after it was over, uh, I was waiting uh, to be picked up. And I was with my publicist. That's how I got to go to the tennis and sit in a certain box there. Um, so I was with my publicist. So it was the worst person possible to say this because Anna Kendrick walked past. And I said, oh, there's Anna Kendrick using my new knowledge. And my publicist said, oh, you want to meet Anna Kendrick? Okay. And just went over. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And she went over and she said, Hannah Gadsby would like to meet you. And Hannah spun around and said, shut the front door. And was so excited. And she was with Brittany Snow, more new knowledge. And they came over and they were very excited to meet me. And I'd only just Googled. Anna. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, so you're fresh knowing who she is now. This is interesting. All that had stuck in my mind from her oeuvre at that stage was trolls. But it didn't get stuck in my head right. It, it got stuck in my head as ogres. Did you say you're an Oh, I know you're an ogres? Oh, yeah. No, it, you know, it's perfect <laughs> ogres. But there is, there is an image of us having a, an Instagram moment and I don't look Instagram ready. I think that's the biggest implication that I'm not ready for this. You think you're not ready for that? But, uh, Hannah, every, everyone has come on the show and I thank you so much for coming on. Uh, we asked them if, if there's a charity or something like to uh, uh, shine a light on or, uh, you know, highlight. And uh, for you, you chose safehorizon.org. Yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's a, that's a, a US-based charity that um, provides services for survivors of uh, abuse and um, abusive relationships, assault and whatnot. Uh, I think, it, you know, it's a, it's a great sort of charity. I think most people are going to be a little worse off after the pandemic, but, you know, there are a lot of people who couldn't afford to be even worse off than they already were before the pandemic. Uh, and I... I think, uh, you know, Safe Horizon help people in very precarious situations and they're, they're still providing, you know, frontline services for, for, for survivors of abuse. Uh, thank you for, uh, for, for doing that uh, and, and bringing that to uh, our show. I love, I love you, bud. Too soon. I just hugged you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know I stuck one in there. Bye. Same. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.